like, please like, share, and subscribe, and ring that little bell. Ring the little bell so you're notified when new videos drop. So finally, finally, we've... Oh, has it been confirmed? No, it hasn't been confirmed. Finally, it's been sort of, sort of confirmed that Neil Patrick Harris is playing the Celestial Toymaker, or the Toymaker. Apparently, the word Celestial is a... Uh, um, like a closeted racial slur against Asian people. I had no idea, right? I had no idea. <laughs> I don't think they had any idea. Maybe uh, uh, when they uh, uh, when they wrote the original, who wrote the original? Was it Donald Tosh? I don't know. Uh, I have absolutely no idea. But 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 okay. Uh, uh, so will they still be using celestial? I don't know. The the only way anybody would know it was a racial slur is uh, 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 if if they t if anybody tells because nobody knows about it. Celestial, we all think talking about. You know, the uh, uh, cosmos. <laughs> the, the, the celestial. <laughs> the, the normal use of the word. Anyway, it's been confirmed, uh, uh, sort of, that he is the uh, uh, celestial toy maker. At last, at last, uh, the media responded. I spoke about it last night on my live stream. I live stream every night. Uh, uh, you can catch me on Rumble, on Twitter, and on uh, YouTube, obviously. Man! Twitter, you get your act together. You get yourself a good uh, uh, streaming interface. Like, it, this is what I want from Twitter. Uh, uh, Twitter video, right? I would like... do not like YouTube. YouTube worked it out, but you have freedom of speech. This is bad news for Rumble, right? This is bad news for Rumble if, if Twitter is moving into the video space, which it's always said it wanted to. I think having Tucker, Tucker Carlson on Twitter uh, is huge. <laughs> I mean, it's going to be... Huge beyond huge. I mean, I, 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 I'm kind of sad he didn't sign up to Rumble, but I get it. Listen, the trouble with Rumble, even though I do very well on Rumble, I do much better on Rumble than I do on YouTube. <coughs> the trouble with Rumble is it's just not as good in a lot of ways, right? You know, the, the streams aren't as clear. Uh, uh, the interfaces, it's just, I mean, they're just bits of bugs. And look, they're a small company compared to a, a much bigger older company. I understand, and it works. Basically, it works. I use Rumble as my default, but it's still not as good as YouTube. You can't get the app in the UK in a lot of places. It's just a lot of stuff, right? A lot of stuff not as good as YouTube. Uh, uh, Twitter, boy, they, they they have real potential. So if they if they make a like a uh, video interface where, where like yeah, you can see all my videos, you can see like little thumbnails and choose something to watch easier, uh, and do a TV app, which is what they're talking about. Um, yeah, that, that I think is a YouTube killer, right? I really think that will be an absolute YouTube killer. Will they do it? Who knows? It only makes sense, so who knows? Uh, uh, can I ask you to like, share, subscribe, comment? All those things are fantastic. If you want to help me out, follow me on Rumble, baby. Follow me on Rumble. That really, I really want to build up that channel. Because again, it does fabulous for me compared to YouTube. I get like four times the viewers on Rumble and it's got a tiny account. It's it's the weirdest thing. And it's growing. My growth on Rumble is, is way better. But still, Twitter, listen, I am... Uh, uh, well, I like Rumble. I'm not married to them. <laughs> you know, you know if, you, if you deliver a better service with freedom of speech, and by, by, by freedom of speech, I, I don't want there to be hate speech. I don't want people like screaming like racist nonsense. No, I think the normal, you know, speech laws we have in most Western countries are perfectly adequate, right? But I'm rather too adequate in some cases. But I think I'm perfectly adequate. So yeah, that's what I would like. Anyway, anyway, uh, uh, like, share, subscribe. That's what I'm trying to say, baby. Like, share, subscribe. All those things are fantastic. As I said, I, I did this on a live stream last night. A live stream every night. Join me on a live stream. It's five o'clock UK time. Normally, right? Normally, uh, uh, was it? Like, share, subscribe, comment. Look in the video notes. You have a link to all, everything. Oh, and it's done. I'm very excited. This is. Uh, I'm gonna think. I'm gonna start releasing this. This, you know, this weekend, uh, I'm, uh, this is what, May 11th, right? So uh, uh, my uh, deep fake Colin Baker reading uh, Millennial Rights, the first part of that is going to be released this week. Uh, you can get it in my, uh, if you want the full thing as an MP3, then you, I, I, it's going to be on my sub stack. I'm thinking the MP3 version, the full interrupted, uh, uninterrupted MP3 version is only going to be for subscribers. Subscribers is like five bucks a month. If I get more subscribers, I'll do more. It's that simple, right? It is that freaking simple. More people subscribe, I'll do more of this stuff. I've also got Peter Capaldi reading my own fiction as well, which I'm working on today, which I am excited about. So I talked about lots of things other than Doctor Who, right? So let's go Let's go and look, uh, 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 see what I had to say last night uh, while I was going over the completely, completely... Uh, um, 
unsurprising news that Neil Patrick Harris was shock horror, the celestial toy maker. Let me add up to me from last night. Top two anniversary gives a final clue to Neil Patrick Harris's return, uh, returning character. The latest TV spot was blah, 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 reveals Neil Patrick Harris, mystery villain, and his potential powers. So the question is this. Assuming it's a toy maker and he's in the toy maker's realm, right? How long's he been there? Did Jody fall into the realm at the beginning of her reign? Right? That would be fabulous. That would really do the trick. Right? That would, man, nothing made me not want to see what, uh, what kind of forever than watching bits of Wakanda forever that are playing. I'm like, I have no interest in that movie at all. Um, here we go. The uh, a Doctor Who TV sort that gives a glimpse of Neil Patrick Harris' mysterious sixth anniversary villain. Uh, the celebrated three, uh, three episode storyline is set to air in the fall of twenty twenty three. Yeah, in November, uh, with David and Catherine starring, helmed by blah blah blah. Rusty Davis, then it return fourteenth Doctor, blah blah blah. New incarnation. Shocked uh, uh, to learn uh, that somehow they have a face of the tenth. Yes. Uh, following the last ominous sixth anniversary Taylor, a new teaser uh, was distributed by BBC Broadcast um, Media. Uh, so Brad Wolf Archives had it, um, and they reversed it, and which we watched it already. The I'll throw it up again. I'll throw it up again. It's ten seconds. Like, what's the big deal? There you go. So, yeah. This... Um... So, the following footage of the villain. Oh, wait, wait. So, we, uh, Battle of Arco, new footage. Mysterious, uh, Doctor Who villain has been revealed. First showed in a sequence where he was dressed in a tuxedo and dancing amidst, uh, chaos in the, street, in the streets. By the way, if Jinx Monsoon is back already, as we saw, like, that can't be so much of a major role. It was like, I don't know. <laughs> it, 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 I think maybe they might have bigged that up a bit, right? No? It, it, like, how could this thing? It was like a week's worth of filming. Um, this is follow, uh, This is followed by the footage of the villain encountering the 14th Doctor and, uh, and takes Donna Noble in his previous uh, scene, shopkeeper, shopkeeper attire. Did they see each other in the trailer? Hang on. Go back over there again for a second. We know that they're looking at each other. This is like, they look like they're coming up to the shop, but we don't know that they're in the sh No. I didn't think we did. We know that he walks to, like, he comes up to the shop. Right? in everyone's head. Okay, so they're wrong. <laughs> I think he said, all they said, he's been in everybody's head. Right. Uh, as we've really seen in the shopkeeper's tire, when reverse Harris can laugh can be heard, it's not Neil Patrick Harris's laugh. It's the whole point. It's Michael Goss' laugh, right? And the uh, the doctor states, "You've been every in everyone's head." I think he said he's been in everyone's head. I thought he said he's been in everyone's head. I might be wrong. I might be wrong. Um, there's no matter a villain from the Doctor's past. Well, obviously. Um, the sixth anniversary we'll see is the incarnation going face to face with many foes, including Comic Will and Beep the Meat. Beep is, uh, made his de debut in 1980, the fourth time. Blah, blah, blah. Are you not talking about the actual point of the story? Um, da, da, da. Having been. Um, uh, so the character is a powerful threat, having been playful, but men. Uh, with this, here, when they start talking about it. However, while Beep's television debut has been confirmed, Harris's villain... Yeah, we know. So, uh, it's currently speculated that Harris will be playing a modern incarnation of the Celestial Toymaker. 
first played by Michael Goff in 1966. The toy maker is an insane, all-powerful immortal who plays with the um, cataclysmic cataclysmic games to distract himself from the from isolation. Uh, despite his uh, incredible power, he uh, he hasn't been seen on television since his first story. Um, it was mentioned briefly uh, in 2020 by Ke uh, in Kenny Him. I forgot about that. That's interesting. The Toy Maker's Return uh, will be the perfect way to celebrate the classic book too. It will also be the perfect way to wreck on Jody. I mean, like, let, let's not forget. Oh, wait a minute. Was it this one? Yes. This was a story where they were supposed to regenerate Hartnell. Yes. Celestial Toy Maker was a story they're supposed to regenerate Hartnell, like ch change his appearance, right? Because they could do that because he, when he vanished. But he he went on to do another six months or whatever, right? But it was a story where they were go, they were going to write him out and replace him with a different doctor, right? So uh, um, th they might be doing that with 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 shooting, right? That actually might happen. Wow, that's interesting. Uh, well, Doctor Who TV has been kept the identity of Harrison under wraps. The new shots and dialogue are shot. Okay. Also, the laugh is Michael Goff from the Toy Maker, from the Celestial Toy Maker. Um, hints of power to, uh, to control and manipulate people. Further play into the theories that he could be portraying a modern incarnation of the Toy Maker. Again, I think reasonably obviously. No? <laughs> I mean, like, reasonably obviously. Additionally, as. Um, uh, there are many more teasers uh, 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 interrupt the BBC broadcast. It seems that we'll likely get a uh, a full a, a full trailer is around the corner. It's coming in, in on Saturday. Okay, Saturday. My name's Elon Beck and the new rabbi from another planet. Please like, share, and subscribe, and ring that little bell. Ring the little bell so you are notified when new videos drop. Yeah.